The cleanup has begun in southern Ontario and Quebec where a severe storm struck. One person was killed in a community east of Montreal. At one point, the winds were so strong, cars were overturned, trees went down, and more than half a million people were left in the dark. Today, crews are trying to get electricity back on for the thousands who are still without power. Here's Sean O'Shea. The rain came hard, hitting the Toronto area in rush hour. A city that's lately getting used to flooding and severe weather. We heard a bunch of crashes and stuff and rushed outside and trees were falling everywhere. Fell on cars and on this Lindsay, Ontario home. It felt like an earthquake. The whole house shook and I heard my kids scream. Nearly 100,000 lost power in Ontario, half a million in Quebec, where a falling tree from heavy winds killed a 21-year-old woman working at a swimming pool. Others who saw the storm's fury on their front lawn breathed a sigh of relief. Totally lucky. If it landed on a house, it would have destroyed it, for sure. It's an old wooden house. It just would have crashed right through the ceiling, and the people in the living room would have been, could have been injured. It's the aftermath of extreme weather that forecasters predicted. We had this very hot, humid air mass that made things very volatile, and as a cold front slices through that, that's when we get storms. The storm caused a lot of damage across two provinces, but the loss of one tree in particular on this street has meant the end of a little piece of Canadiana. Gone in the storm, the maple tree that inspired the song, The Maple Leaf Forever. The maple leaf forever. Written in 1867 by Alexander Muir to commemorate Confederation, some consider the song, for a time, Canada's unofficial anthem. I grew up singing The Maple Leaf Forever. This man wanted to keep a piece of the tree for posterity. This woman lamented its loss. This is our historic little landmark here in the neighborhood. So it's very sad to see all of that. I've looked at the tree and we said, that's getting pretty old and rotted. Somebody should look at that, but we never thought it would fall. But as weather patterns change and storms get more intense, damage like this is more common than ever before. Sean O'Shea, Global News, Toronto.